Still got me doing wrong stuff. Oh, I know me. They didn't kill the vibe. I'm back again with another video and today we are in Denver Colorado at watercourse foods when you first come in it's a very cute vibe they have a nice deli area with a few assorted desserts as well as some cheeses and um, things that you can purchase like deli meat they also have a lot of really cool art displayed some for sale like this one here and then some not much so for sale but really just on display to showcase some of the artwork and some of the culture here in Denver which I thought was extremely extremely cool so all in all I'd say this place was a really cool vibe I even like the way how they offer their tipping service it's more of a group tipping not just your servers receiving the tip you give it's everyone so once you're seated there's already water at your table which is a very nice touch for people like us that walk around with gallons of water <laughs> and then Joe ended up getting him like a lemon kombucha or a lemon ginger kombucha I got orange juice and a pear mimosa which was very good um, and then they had cauliflower wings they offered them in barbecue and buffalo but we just asked for half and half and these were really good they came with eight um, and I wish they came with 10 because they were really yummy. I would definitely get these again. And the celery was actually pickled, which I never had pickled celery before, but I thought it was a nice touch. Um, and these right here are the breakfast empanadas. The dipping sauce with that, um, I, I think I could have went without. I didn't try the dipping sauce and I was like, oh, this dipping sauce is fantastic. Um, but I did think that they were good. We also had breakfast potatoes and I think there was ketchup to go with those. And then this, this was a souffle pancake. And when you think souffle, you think fluffy and airy. And this just did not hit that for me. It was more cake-like and blondie-ish like and not necessarily fluffy like a souffle. Um, but all of the things around it was very good. The blueberry compote on top was good. The bananas were fresh. The pecans were yummy. Um, so I did end up eating around it a good bit and Joe finished it mainly for himself. Then right here we have um, their mac and cheese, which they use shell mac, and this biscuit. This was a gigantic biscuit, and it came with some homemade jam. Um, the biscuit was pretty good, but a little dry. I wish that I had um, put more butter on it or, or asked for more vegan butter to go on top. And the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese was good, but it gave off a bit of craft. Um, like definitely boiled mac and cheese tossed in sauce not really the baked vibe which is what I really like about mac and cheese is a good baked mac and cheese um, but for what it was it was still yummy the mushroom bacon on top was good and I could tell that was house made um, so I have no complaints it wasn't very soupy it was more creamy um, than anything and I also had a salad but I didn't really record my salad because it was just um, a basic salad that I finished so quickly that um, it really made you no know, never mind. Um, so yeah, that's that's our breakfast and that's it being gone. <laughs> Okay, so the record stores are more Joe's Jam, but um, we actually found some gems here for me. 
So this is Wax Tracks Records. They have one store on the corner face out here, and then if you walk down the street, um, when you come out of the record store, turn to the left and walk down the street. Um, they have a second location that you can go into and purchase records as well. So we ended up going to both in the same day. Um, and all in all, they looked very organized. I think Joe had a good time there. And um, I was happy that we were able to find some of my favorite artists there. So shout out to Wax Tracks Records for having some of that heat aka that re linux and that money long um i love both of these artists so i was so happy that we were able to find some of their music there and joe likes them too so it wasn't like i only benefited from purchasing these albums even though these are my girl <laughs> this is the other location i was talking about day we had a royal gorge ex royal gorge route excursion planned and i wanted to get some um fancy or cute shoes so we stopped by the denver pavilion um and i found some really cute shoes at the h m there unfortunately i got rained out so the shoes were kind of womp womp but Okay, so the Royal Gorge route took about two hours to get to, leaving from Denver. The view was absolutely beautiful, the mountains and all of that good stuff. Uh, we did have a little bit of rain, um, but it wasn't anything super bad that we would have had to pull over for or anything like that. Now, a little bit of information about the gorge itself. So, we got our tickets for Saturday at 6.30 p.m. We um, also purchased, along with our tickets, the $30 premium prepaid photo and flash drive. We also got the wine flight. The wine flight was $42.24. And then we also got... Um, the tickets itself. The tickets itself were $119 per person. So total, our entire trip came out to $325.24 for this entire excursion. Um, what I would say is you can leave out the premium prepaid photo and or flash drive we ended up getting it because we thought oh well we're here on vacation and we wanted to do a, a little nice weekend thing so um we were gonna get it but the pictures were very um i want to say like uh I don't know how to describe it but the pictures didn't seem like natural pictures they were very much so like photoshopped like edited images um, so I think you could have just went without that and taken really cool pictures yourself it did help because we showed up on a day like today where it was rainy so we do have a flash drive of pictures of what it looks like on its um, best day but all in all I would say you could save the 30 bucks and go without that um, I did enjoy that wine flute though or that wine flight so um, I'm not gonna say go without that that $42 was well spent on that one because um, I drank all of that wine um, but you also get the chance to purchase food on your own so for us vegans they had a Beyond Burger, which Joe got, and he had to ask for no cheese and no mayonnaise on his. And then I ended up getting a garden salad with no cheese on my salad, and I got the vinaigrette that they offered. And I'm trying to think what else we ended up eating. Um, oh, I believe we also got chips and salsa, but you'll see a little bit further down in the video. All in all, I would recommend this trip if you do go to Denver, Colorado, but I would recommend going on a day when you know the weather is going to be nice so that you get the best of your videos and 
there may be some wildlife out because we did not really see any. Um, also, if you are wondering if they have an area where you can just stand outside and you do not have to sit inside the entire trip, there is. Um, so we did not spend our entire time in here. We got our food, we ate it, and then after that we were able to go outside and, our, and enjoy ourselves um, and get some nice pictures of the view. Um, and your seats are reserved, so you don't have to worry about anybody taking your seats when you up and leave uh, we did take all of our stuff though um, so we didn't leave like I didn't leave my purse or anything like that but we did know that um, when we left our seats were really reserved for us and now you can also see what I'm talking about when I say that Joe and I had our seat to ourselves because when you look in front of us there's no one sitting in front of us it's literally just a wall there um, and I enjoyed that such a good time and I would recommend this trip to anyone that just wants to see a little bit of nature in Colorado and just kind of get away um it was really really nice we also saw this really cool yurt um place where I guess people could rent the yurts out and stay um in it kind of like a yurt hotel and I thought that was really really cool and really cute so I would stay there um, if we ever came back to Denver again, I doubt Joe would want to, so we'd probably only be able to do a night there and then get a regular hotel. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. Um, and that was on the end of the trip. So now we are headed back to this lackluster hotel where the best part of it was the elevator up.
we ended up having an additional day in Denver so we chose to go to a museum Joe and I love museums um, that was one of the things we bonded over when we first started dating so we found a museum of contemporary art and we went here and had a good time exploring it looking at some of the artwork they had we were even able to grab um, a little bit of lunch they had some vegan hummus and pita upstairs on the rooftop so you'll see us enjoying that in a few um, and it was just a vibe so this was how we started our morning <laughs> The rooftop of this museum was very, very cute. Outside, there was kind of a garden, um, but the garden was uh, more of a desert-themed garden, I guess. And then inside, they had this really cool art displayed from an artist um, that specialized in like making sculptures, so that's what those domes are. And then here is the lunch that I said we had earlier, so it was some olives, tomatoes, rainbow carrots, hummus, and pita, and we also got some tea. That wasn't enough to hold us over completely, so we ended up heading to this place called Vegan Van, and boy, did we have a time there, okay? Um, so it was only about 11 minutes to get there, um, but it was, oh, y'all, I can't wait to get into this food. You will think you are headed in the wrong direction based off of the parking lot. It doesn't look like you are headed to vegan van. It looks like you are headed to um, some type of, I guess, work or college, um, I want to say. But it is in the college cafeteria. Um, so you don't need like a dorm code or anything to go in here. Uh, there are other places, but they were all closed. We didn't really focus on them. We really only paid attention to Vegan Van. They had a similar setup of like juices, deli meats, vegan cheeses, um, all of that different types of stuff. Um, they even had like vegan jerky that I'd never tried before, but I tried that brand. So I racked up on snacks for the airport um, when we came here because I just thought that was extremely cool.
comes to the overall food of this place, their theme was um, very much so American, um, handheld diner food, corn dogs, things like that. Um, and they do it well from what I was able to eat. So you go up to the booth, you place your order, they'll give you that little ticket thing that you see there, a buzzer, um, then they'll buzz you. Uh, this is a peanut butter buddy. Um, it's kind of like what I used to have as nutty buddies back in the day and that's why I got it. Um, but here's our food. The fries were fresh. They looked homemade. I kid you not. They, they were so yummy. And those were Joe's fries, but I just had to give them a taste. And then Joe ended up getting a burrito. I ended up getting the, well, I got half a hash brown patty. And I also got a garden salad with their vegan bacon. Joe got their breakfast burrito with sausage, just egg, cheese. He said it was very good, very, very good, honey. And then this. Now, this is Taco Bell's, or what I, I guess their take on Taco Bell's crunch wrap and it was so good y'all it had like a lentil meat um tortillas lettuce tomato all seared together but when i tell you it was so good it made me want another one and it was very simple you know something i probably could make at home but i enjoyed vegan van and i recommend you go so after Vegan Van, we decided to drive around downtown Denver and also check out what their movie scene was like. So we went to see, um, I can't even remember now as I'm recording this video, but we went to go see a movie that Joe really wanted to see. Um, and it was really good. But the highlight though was those plant-based options, okay? I got the gourmet tenders and I did half barbecue, half buffalo. The buffalo was better. Um, but if you saw, they had a chicken sandwich up there. Um, they had a lot of different options that the one in Charlotte just does not offer. And their bar was super duper cute. Um, so after that, we went back to the hotel room, woke up the next morning, checked out, and made it back to the hotel. So I meant made it back to the airport so we are headed back to the queen city i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching um, if you like this video please give it a like subscribe and i will see you in my next video thanks again for watching Bye bye